It's been a long while since I've been able to say this, but the upcoming team of the week is actually looking quite good. So let's begin. We start with Handanovic, who made five saves in Inter Milan's 1-0 win against Juve. With it being a big game in this area, this match does tend to produce informs, and the goalkeeper was definitely a standout performer in this one. The headlining player for the upcoming team of the week has to be Mbappe. He got two goals and three assists. Three assists in a 5-1 win, so his headliners item should be getting a very nice boost on Wednesday. I'm down here, got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win. Tveta also got a hat-trick, but for him it was a 3-1 win. And I had to include someone from Celtic this week with them beating Rangers to pretty much guarantee the fact that they have won the SPL. Uh, Carter Vickers got the match-winning goal in a 2-1 win. Didn't keep a clean sheet, but like, there surely has to be a Celtic player in the upcoming team of the week. There was one hat-trick in the Serie A and it was scored by the Portuguese forward Better. Three goals in a 5-1 win for him. Juan Mee got himself two goals and two assists in a win for Real Batiste, so he should be guaranteed a spot. Christian Romero put in a very good display in Tottenham's 5-1 win against Newcastle. Quite a few good performances, so there is other options from this match, but I'm going to go for the defender. I'm definitely going to say this guy's name wrong, but Jeremy Jeff? I mean, that's kind of what I just want to go for. He got a hat-trick and an assist in a 4-2 win, so uh, good luck getting him in your red picks. Muslera was one of the standout goalkeepers in the past week, made numerous saves in a win for Galatasaray and saved a penalty as well. Clean sheet in a 2-0 win, 7 saves in total. Malinkovic Savic helped Lazio pick up a win, got himself a goal and a 7.5 match rating from Gazeta. Conrad Lehmer got himself two goals and an assist in a 4-1 win against Borussia Dortmund. Nkunku got a goal and two assists, so he's an option as well, but I'm going to go for Lehmer. But his foot birthday card was kind of recent, so there is a chance EA might go with Nkunku instead. This next card is my prediction for Silver Stars. It is Takuma Asano, former Arsenal man of course, found the back of the net twice and also made the kicker team of the week. Joao Felix found the back of the net twice in a win for Atletico Madrid. Karen Benzema did pretty much the same, but in a win for Real Madrid. Another La Liga forward who got two goals was Morales. I don't think all three will get in, by the way, but um, I just didn't know which one to drop. There has to be a player from Brentford in the upcoming team of the week, and we've gone with Janelle, who got himself two goals in that massive 4-1 win against Chelsea. Raheem Sterling could pick up another special item. He got two assists in Manchester City's 2-0 win against Burnley. Paul Anuichu got himself a hat-trick in a 5-0 win for Genk. Two of the goals, though, were penalties, which will definitely go against him, but still a hat-trick. I have to include it. Iago got himself a goal, got a clean sheet, and made the kicker team of the week for his performance in a 3-0 win against Wolfsburg. Chris Smalling was an absolute beast at the back for Roma in their 1-0 win against Sampdoria. Camille Grisicki was the star man in his sad's 4-0 win, goal and assist for him, and maybe a potential featured team of the week spot. Inu scored twice in a 4-1 win against a team that are currently sat top of the league. And then to finish us off, we've got Joshua Kimmich who got an assist in Bayern Munich's 4-1 win against Freiburg, but the fact that he got into the kicker team of the week is the reason for my inclusion. So there you have it, those are my predictions for Team of the Week 29. Let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.